Now to auto summarization, and we're on a different topology here, slightly different. I've set up some point-to-point -point links here. It would have worked the exact same way across the frame network. Just wanted to use something a little bit different to illustrate this to you, because this is a little more real world here. Because we've got routers 1 and 3 on the 172.12.123.0 slash 24 subnet. Routers 2 and 3 are on the 172.12.23.0 slash 24 subnet. And the issue here is that both routers 1 and 2 have subnets of the major network number 20.0.0.0. Now, generally this isn't going to be a problem, but we do call this a discontiguous network. We have subnets of the same major network number, or the same network number I should say, uh, separated by another router. So discontiguous is just a fancy way of saying they're in different places in the network. So ordinarily, this wouldn't be any problem, except with EIGRP, I left auto summarization on, which was very difficult because I had to tell myself, do not type no auto summary in the config. So we've got, I've got the config up and running already. And what we're going to see here in a moment is auto summarization in action, because in EIGRP, when you advertise subnets of one network number across an interface from another network number, or a network boundary, as we like to call it, then... EIGRP is going to summarize the route, and it may not be what we want. Again, we love route summarization when you and I as the network admins are doing it, when we decide when and where it's happening. But in a situation like this, it could be pretty bad, and I think you already see just from the diagram what's going on, but I'll show you this on live equipment in just a moment. Router 1 is advertising two subnets of the, of the network number 20000 across a network boundary. Router 2 is advertising two different subnets across another network boundary. So they're being summarized. And R3, here's what we end up with. We end up with one entry, and we've got equal cost load balancing going on. You can see the different network numbers here. But this is the problem. We don't have a specific entry for the 2110 subnet. We don't have 2220 here. We just have one entry. This is a summarized route. And the problem is the summary is of four subnets that are in different places in the network. So when we try to communicate with some of these, like say ping 2111, this is the kind of thing you're going to end up getting. You're going to get timeouts and unreachables. It's just a really, really ugly situation. So what we need to do is enter no auto summary because that's what we usually do on all of our routers and we don't run into a problem like this. But here's a question for you. What router should we put auto summarization on? Let's say that I came to you with a job interview question, practice exam question, real exam question, and just said, tell me where you would configure no auto summary in the least amount of places to get rid of this issue. If you want to pause the video and think about that for a minute, especially if it's the first time you watched it, fantastic. And I'm going to go ahead and stop filibustering here in a minute and tell you that you would think it's R3 at first glance. It's like, well, that's where the routes are and you run no auto summary there. But that's not where the summarization is actually taking place. It's taking place on routers 1 and 2. So if we were true minimalists, and just wanted to put the no auto summary command exactly where it was needed, we're going to put it on routers 1 and 2, not on router 3. Because remember, by the time the routes get to router 3, the damage is done. They've already been summarized. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead. I think the numbers are a little bit different here. Yep, there we go. Oh, I should probably tell you this. This is why I wanted to do it on live equipment, too. Uh, you're going to lose your adjacencies when you put the no auto summary command on. And it's even going to say summary configured at the end of that message. So let's go over to router 2 and do the same thing. And immediately you lose your neighbor. Yeah, destroy peer. <laughs> that sounds a little strong, you know, destroy peer. But almost immediately they should come back up. And you can see there at the edge of the screen, neighbor 23.3 is back up. So let's go over to that neighbor. 
And there are your subnets. Ta-da! Great stuff. So now if we ping 2111, it's going to go through with no problem at all. But if you see that ugly little combination of use with you know our unreachables and then you've got your ping uh, timing out in there when you see a combination like that you know something's really botched up and what's really botched up here is simply that we did not have the no auto summary command in the right place now you know exactly when you need it and exactly where you need it and that's great knowledge to have for the exam and for the real world as well let's finish up with this and head over to another eigrp topic on the next video see you there